Budget Fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. Today we are doing a cash stuffing video. This video is coming up a little bit later than expected. So typically I have already like pre-decided where money is going. This video will not be as decided or organized. We're just gonna go with it. We do have $245 to stuff today. The bank accidentally gave me 51s instead of 150. They got a little confused there, but that's okay. We are going to see what we can do with that. So let's count the money, make sure we have what we think we have. We should have $245, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 80, 90, 200, 210, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. So $245 to, to stuff today. How are you guys doing? I hope you had a lovely start to your week. I hope you're having a lovely middle of the week. Tomorrow is Friday. We are very excited here. Atlas is still the only one in the family going to like a school or a job out of the house because my other son is homeschooled, but we always love Fridays because that means we're all together all weekend and the boys enjoy seeing one another. And of course, Atlas is excited when he's out of school. Groceries, gas, fast food. I had allotted some money to go into here, but now that we are in the middle of the week, I am not stuffing this because that money was already pulled from the bank and spent. I think I spent under budget for groceries, but then I spent over budget on fast food. I had only allotted or planned on like $10 for fast food and we spent 15, so that's not bad. I am doing a video soon where I talk with you guys I talk you guys through all of my spending for the first week of December. So we're gonna be doing that tomorrow, I believe. So that's gonna be fun to see exactly where I'm spending money on and what I need to get better with on my budget. So this is for movie night, taking my kids out to eat at a sit down restaurant and family fun and then thrifting because I would like to start thrifting, like thrift shopping with my sister more. We are gonna add $10 to thrifting. All of the rest of these things are completely stuffed and I don't need anything else in there. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, $15 now for thrifting. If you are new here, this is just an envelope that goes in my everyday binder. I don't have that over here because that also has like insurance cards and other things that I don't want to accidentally put in the video. So I just pull out the cash envelopes to stuff those on film. So you will notice our lovely bill binder is back. I don't know if we're gonna stuff any of this today, but I do want to go through that with you guys and talk about why that is back. But for now, let's move over to sinking funds. So sinking funds are all of the things that come around seemingly randomly, but we always can expect them to come up, right? Like membership costs or car maintenance, haircuts, those things that aren't in our weekly budget, but we can count on them coming around. So my, these are my sinking funds. For memberships, we are going to add $20. When I move soon, I know I'm going to have a lot of membership fees as we join a new zoo and we join a new children's museum and a gym and all of the things. So I do want to, so out of all of the categories, this is probably the one I'm concentrating on the most right now. Memberships is 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120 towards memberships for when we move. Next is car maintenance. Car maintenance is getting 20. I just spent a ton of money for car maintenance. I don't know if I ever really shared with you guys what was going on there, but there was like the front tires, there's like the bar in the front of your car, whatever that is called that like holds everything together. The clips that hold the tires on were completely broken and I had zero ideas that that was even a thing. So I had to pay a lot of money to get that all repaired, to get that whole front end of the car fixed and that was a lot. And then I got my oil changed and I feel like there is one more thing I'm supposed to do. Oh no, well, my I'm just remembering that there's something else that I was like, oh, I'll take it back for that later. So, okay, so maybe I need to put more of a focus on car maintenance. So car maintenance now has 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, $57 for car maintenance. Maybe next week we will put a bit more into that. Next is haircuts. We are gonna add $10 to haircuts. Let's see where we're at. My boys don't really need a haircut right now. We are at $25, so we just need five more dollars for both of my boys to be able to get haircuts. Next is sick days. Sick days gets $5. I really should take something out of this. What is this even up to? Okay, so my kids and I are just getting over like a major sickness and I honestly didn't even pull from this. I just pulled straight from my bank and I should have pulled from this because that would have 
led to a little less stress this week. Okay, so we have five, 10, 15, $20 now for sick days. I like to have a good 30 to $40 in sick days. That does not count for medicine. That is strictly for fast food that we buy or if I buy my kids something to keep them occupied while we're stuck in the house. New phone, I dropped my phone this morning and I was like, oh Lord, please no, I'm not, I'm not ready yet. Luckily it did not break, but it was like a hard fall on concrete. So I was scared for a hot minute. We added $10 to new phone. New phone now has 50, 70, 90, 100, 110, 115 for new phone. There are some things I didn't account for this week that are leading to some extra stress. Um, car insurance, let's add, do we wanna add $40 to car insurance? Yeah, we need to. Okay, so for car insurance, let's add $40 for car insurance. So now we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 150 for car insurance. I wanna say my car insurance comes out in February. I pay every six months, but it's relatively low. I should really write these numbers down. And I have the trackers and everything back here, but I hate to pause the video to write, you know? So I don't keep up with it as much as I used to. But we are on our way there. I wanna say maybe a couple hundred dollars every six months for my car insurance. I have literally the lowest plan that you can possibly have. Car tag, car tag is going to get $5. So I had some stress this week because for the month of December, I did not account for getting other people presents. I had gotten all my kids presents and I had saved for that, but getting myself and other people presents, I didn't account for, nor did I account for the fact that my brother's birthday is this month because he's my twin, so that makes sense, right? And then my birthday is this month, so I like to get myself something. Okay, car tag is $5. We added five, so now we have 25, 30, 31, 32 dollars for car tag. I love to get myself stuff for birthday and Christmas, and it's primarily because of the kids, adding $5 to AAA. I don't want my kids to grow up thinking that like, like I was unhappy because I did not have somebody else around to like buy things for me or whatnot. So like I am not one to spend a lot of money on myself, but I do like to get myself something for my birthday and something for Christmas, even if it's little, because I don't want my boys growing up feeling bad for me or feeling any kind of way about me not having stuff. So I always buy myself stuff and pretend like I'm just as surprised. <laughs> like, I don't know, they're still little, so they still kind of buy into it, but I'm by myself stuff and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited that I got this for my birthday or Christmas or whatever, because I want them to have those good memories and not remember me not getting stuff, right? Because like they're old enough to where they care if I'm not happy or if I don't get stuff. And so I don't know. So I'm working on buying myself stuff for Christmas and, and things, but it's not all budgeted, so we'll see how that all works out. AAA just got $5, so we have 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 dollars now for AAA. My camera is about to die any moment now. Allowance for my boys, so I think this is what we're actually gonna do, because we're gonna have so many extra ones, and I actually pay my boys in ones. If they do all their chores for the day, they get a dollar for the day, so it's a very, like, like the reward system is very automatic or in the moment for them. So it's not like they have to wait all week for a certain amount. If they do the chores that day, they get paid a dollar for that day. So one, two, three, four, five covers the five that we just took out of allowance. But I actually think I'm going to put the majority of these ones in here. So let's add, I don't know, this, this is supposed to be 50. Let's just take out 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars. We're just taking out ten and we're gonna add all of the rest of this to this. I'm not even gonna count it because I don't know, it's probably fifty or sixty dollars in ones. Oh, is that gonna fit now though? Probably not. Okay, and so this pretty much means I don't have to worry about ones for at least a month because it's not even like, oh, I'm so proud it fit in there. Um, it's not even like they get a dollar every single day and it's not like both kids get a dollar every single day because they don't do chores every single day. It's just when they do their chores, they know they can come in here and get a dollar out of this spot. They are both very honest and they just kind of take care of it themselves. It has been the best motivator for allowance for them and it's also been really easy on me. So that is in there for them now. And when we need to replenish that, then we will worry about that again. One month ahead, we are gonna put $30 into one month ahead. 
this is to get us another month ahead on bills. I am currently one month ahead on bills, but I would like to be another month ahead. So we are gonna add 20 and then the 10. Let's go ahead and color this in too. So those are things I didn't really account for. I think I, oh, that's not the right one. I think I've covered everything else. It's just Christmas really for family and for myself and for birthday for myself and my brother. Those are things I did not account for. Let's see, one month ahead now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 160 dollars for one month ahead. And my twin brother, I typically do spend maybe 120, 150 for his birthday present. I like to get him practical gifts. So he's an electrician and I like to get him new blue jeans or I, maybe this year I'm thinking new, new boots because my sister said that he already has a lot of jeans this year. Probably because I buy them for him every holiday. If you have a practical gift idea for an electrician, what is it? Tell me. Um, and tell me, like, brand everything. Give me some ideas and help me out because I'm not sure what to do for him this year and our birthday is coming up in less than a week. Okay, camera died. I knew that was going to happen. I usually charge my camera. As soon as I end a video, I always go put the camera on charge. Did not happen. Anyway. Okay, so the camera died. I'm so sorry about that. While we were away though, a couple of things happened. I went and I cleaned out my purse. So we did find a little bit more money. So we will go ahead and stuff, like finish stuffing all of this. I just figure any loose money that I have in the house, I can go ahead and put it where it goes somewhere. <laughs> so we will decide where that money goes. I also went and made a few more labels. If you are new here, I do make these labels that go in the budget binders. I also make the, the trackers that go in the back. But we are pulling the bills binder back out and I want to fix up some of the labels. I went ahead and reorganized this while we were away too. So this is what's happening with the bill binder. I did initially take out this bill binders to keep things a little bit more simple for myself, but I'm finding that I'm not putting money away like I should be like I was when I was pulling it and doing it cash. I am pulling out the rent and water. The rent, water, trash, all of this is paid through an online portal for my apartment. There's really no reason I have to pull this because it does go right back into the bank because this is one of the few bills that I have that I pay on my card. A lot of my bills that I pay locally, I just pay with cash. But if I take out rent, water, trash, that's what that also stands for, that takes about $1,000 out of my bills binder because the main reason I stopped doing this is because now that I'm on YouTube, I don't want just $2,000 sitting in this binder all of the time. So taking out the rent and the water will take a thousand dollars out of this bills binder and then realistically I never have the full one thousand dollars sitting here. I'm slowly building to that but that makes me feel a lot better. I do have my binders in a safe and in a hidden location in my apartment. I don't think anyone would ever find it. I just now that I'm on YouTube and I'm kind of announcing that I am a cash budgeter there was a moment where i felt really uncomfortable with that amount of money but if i think if i take out rent and water since that's over a thousand dollars of my almost two thousand dollars worth of bills i will feel a lot better about it and it can get me back on track so while the camera died and i was away for a second i did go through and see which envelopes do not have the appropriate um, sticker or they don't have a sticker made for them so i went ahead and made those all of the stickers all of the sticker labels in my Etsy shop are removable too. So like that sticker has been on there and it is very easy to come off if you want it to come off, but it doesn't budge if you don't want it to budge. You know what I mean? So mother's helper is to pay my sister. She helps with my homeschooled kid once a week. And so that is one of those bills. And then I did go through and organize these all in like the most expensive bills are in the front and then it works its way back to the least expensive bills for the month. So I think today's the 8th, don't quote me on that because I barely know what month it is, <laughs> but I think today is the 8th and so we are a little behind in stuffing this bills binder. I need to pull the money that I do have from the bank and we can stuff this more next week. I thought having a, a different account for bills was going to help me. It does not. I still, I still use that money. <laughs> I find ways to, to spend it if it's in the bank and easy for me to spend. I'm an online shopper. And I'm also somebody who just does not have a conscious when I'm, when I'm conscience, consciences. <laughs> I don't even think I'm using that word correctly. I just don't 
take it as serious if it's on a card I will just it's more easy for me to slide and to spend that money and say that I'll cover it later and then you know that gets me in a bind so realistically I need to get a lot of those bills back out of the bank and start stuffing this binder again you know what we're not gonna stuff this actually I'm going to put this money aside and stuff it into our savings challenges because I will be making that video in a couple of days and then that can go towards our savings challenges because I don't want to put it in here and then that gives me even more money to to play around with when I really shouldn't I need to pull the bills money that I have in the bank and put it in here and not give myself wiggle room. So I know that video was kind of short and sweet. Thank you so much for being here. I will be here again tomorrow where we talk about all of my expenses and spending for the first week in December. So go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned for that if you are interested. And as always, I thank you guys so, so much for being here. I appreciate you. I love you and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.